We're having fun and we don't know why. So today is my birthday. What's up? We have six surgeries scheduled today. So Dr. Wynn. Oh yeah. Today's really busy. See, it's not that bad, right? Speed rounds! Best birthday ever. Welcome back to the vlog. It's week three of residency. At some point, I'm gonna lose count. I'm off call this week, thank goodness. I'm running a little bit behind today, so let's head to the hospital. Yep, definitely running late. Chip, do you want me to go to work? Bye-bye. <laughs> Where is the sun right now? Kind of nice getting here before the rest of the hospital does. What's up? <laughs> You're excited for call this week? So stoked. So stoked. You gonna carry the boat? I'm gonna carry the boat. Bop bappy this morning, an X slap later. At six? We round at six. Uh, today we don't. So we have two cases this morning. Lap Appy, which is a oh, laparoscopic appendectomy. Yes, sir. Oh, sorry, I, I thought you've done this before. I didn't, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I didn't mean to, <laughs> I'm sorry. Starving artist here. So we have two cases this morning. One is a laparoscopic appendectomy. So removing the appendix, you make a couple small incisions. You go in with the trocars. You take out the appendix. You probably do lap appies, what, like every other day? Maybe on like, this rotation. sometimes two a day. Yeah, they're very common. If you have an appendix, you're at risk of that thing getting inflamed. The second case of the day is an exploratory laparotomy. Basically, we open up the abdomen, go inside. The reason for this x lap is because the person has an abnormal connection from their colon to their bladder as a result of inflammation from diverticulitis. So far, those are the only two cases today, and we got a couple new patients, it looks like yesterday. So we're gonna go and pre-round. Okay, I lied. There's actually two more surgeries. There is a hernia repair and some sort of thigh mass excision. So it's going to be a long morning of surgeries. I don't know how to notice that we had four surgeries this morning. And the first one starts at 6 a.m. It's the life we chose, baby. I really choose this. <laughs> actually, yeah, that's kind of true. <laughs> we can't stop vlogging. <laughs> Gotta give the people what they want. 5.30 rounds before a 6 a.m. case, followed by three more cases. Busy day, baby. Conveniently, this guy only wants to see one patient this morning. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab for the first case. I am. <laughs> first case of the morning done. We have a really long day ahead of us. Three more cases to go. Still having a lot of fun though. One of the things that you have to master with surgery is figuring out when you can quickly grab a snack so that you're not hungry during cases because there's literally nothing worse than when you're standing in the OR and you're starving or you're lightheaded and it happens to a lot of people. We're not passing out today. All right, case number two done. It was pretty intense. It was a X lap, so exploratory laparotomy. Sometimes you know what the problem is, but it's hard to tell the extent of an issue. And so you have to make a big incision and, and figure, out figure it out, on. yeah. Bro has to vlog everything. No, they're nothing sacred. <laughs> Good time. Good time. It's just past 12.30 and we are finally done with cases. Yep. Started at 6 a.m. So. We just got out. I was in the two long cases today. What's up with that? You were. I'll do the longer ones tomorrow. <laughs> I promise. Okay, so. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon. Like we said earlier, we've been doing cases since about 6 a.m. We finished around 12.30, and then I went and got some lunch and hung out in our lounge with some of my other co-residents. A lot of people who aren't in medicine might think, well, 1.30, you're already leaving work, you're leaving so early, you have so much time left in the day. But I've been at the hospital since 4.30 in the morning, so I've had a nine hour work day. It's not like I'm leaving early from work, like this has been a full day so far. It is nice though to have a lot more daylight left, so I'm going to definitely use it. 
In my last vlog, you guys left a lot of questions in the comments, so I'm gonna answer them throughout this vlog. And some of the questions were asking about what we actually do during the surgeries as residents. So since we're transition year residents, we're interns, we're primarily serving as a first assist to our attending. So we'll do things like retract, suction. If we're doing a laparoscopic case, we'll guide the camera while maybe holding something else in the other hand. We'll make incisions, we'll suture up at the end of the case. Really, we'll do whatever our attending is comfortable with us doing under their direct supervision. Honestly, it's a lot more fun than when I was a medical student rotating on surgery because it was like you and the resident who was helping the attending. Whereas now it's just like me and the attending, which I think is a lot more fun because I'm a bit more hands-on and it's just better than being a medical student on the sideline of the surgery. Anyway, I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my day. I'm gonna grab some coffee from a spot over here. I'm gonna wash my car since it rained yesterday and just try to relax for the rest of the day. Hey, papas. I missed you guys. Yo, what's up, buddy? Gotta win some games of Blue Seal Ball today. No days off, baby. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. We are running late today. I was just so sluggish this morning. Fresh scrubs, baby. There are literally only two sugar-free rock stars left. One for me and one for DePaul. Rise and grind. Okay, we got a busy day ahead of us. We got a bunch of consults last night, so I'm about to see five of them in the emergency room right now. We have six surgeries scheduled today, so it's gonna be a busy day. Okay, today's really busy. We had a lot of consults to see this morning in the emergency room. Managed to see all of them, but I'm super behind on notes. Turns out we have seven cases today. We have two lap apis, one lap coli, mastectomy, we had a colonoscopy, we have an X lap, and then we had an ileostomy reversal. We just started the fourth case, DePaul just scrubbed in. I'm grabbing a quick snack, and I'm gonna try to catch up on notes before that case ends. So again, super different from last week where it was really light. Today is super busy. Probably done for the day. <laughs> it was good, long day, long day. <laughs> we had seven cases, a lot of new patients overnight. Just it's a really- a, It's a variety too. Like really good variety. Colonoscopy, mastectomy. Appendices. <laughs> <laughs> Append Append Appendix I. Yeah. <laughs> Gallbladderectomy. <laughs> Today's one of those days where you feel exhausted, super busy the entire time, but it's very rewarding. Yeah, we've been operating pretty much nonstop yeah. since. 7 a.m. and it's 3.30. Yeah, but for some reason, <laughs> for a couple guys doing anesthesia and radiology, we're having fun and we don't know why and we kind of hate ourselves for it. <laughs> Can we do surgery? No. Yeah. Yes, no. No. Maybe. We're not going to reapply. No. No. Nah, we shouldn't, right? No. Nah. Nah. Right? nah, nah. <laughs> okay, so it's about four o'clock. I'm finally leaving the hospital. Like we already said, today was a really busy day. Lots of new patients, lots of cases. But honestly, it kind of flew by really fast. So in last week's vlog, a few of you guys were asking if the food we get here at the hospital is free. And the answer is yes. Basically, my hospital gives us $150 every two weeks for the cafeteria, which goes a long way because the cafeteria food is already pretty cheap and we get the employee discount. But we also have a lot of space in our graduate medical education building. Like our lounge is huge. We have tons of offices and workspaces, but we also have a little kitchen in there that they keep stocked with snacks, drinks, all the stuff. Like every single clip you guys see of me grabbing snacks or like energy drinks or protein shakes, that's coming from that kitchen that they keep stocked and we don't have to pay for that. And I believe twice a year they give us a stipend to cover any meals we're buying when we're on call or working overnight because obviously the cafeteria is not open. So per year we're getting like more than $4,000 worth of food stipends. I'll talk more about this next week because I'm gonna get my paycheck next week and I'm gonna tell you guys how much I got paid and talk more about the benefits and everything that comes with the residency pay and food and everything. But yeah, I love that we get fed so well here because that's just a lot of money I get to save. And not having to worry about food and when I'm gonna buy food and how I'm gonna spend money on food is so nice, especially compared to medical school where you're not making any money and you're paying for all of your meals. Anyway, that's enough rambling. Let's go to the gym. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Good morning. <laughs> Early bird gets the worm. Day 
They restocked, baby, let's go. What's up? For me? It's all for you. He got to his hair before he sees his patients this morning. Because when they put in a surgical cap, it will go away. <laughs> Rounds, baby. Rounds are done. Good day. Really good day. Patients we're familiar with. We didn't have any overnight consults and no cases today. So I'm going to do some notes and then I'm going to leave. And yeah, you... I'm on call. Yes, sir. All right, so it's about 10 a.m. and I am done for the day. We didn't have any cases scheduled and DePaul is on call today, so I get the rest of the day off. I did go back after I finished my notes and having breakfast to talk to a patient's family member because we have the patient scheduled for surgery tomorrow. We've had a couple questions regarding the diagnostic tests we've done, some of the risks, benefits, and alternatives to the surgery. So I was in there for a little bit and honestly, like it is so nice to just be in a position where I can talk to patients and their families about this kind of stuff. Like throughout medical school, this is all I wanted. I wanted this responsibility. I wanted to feel competent and comfortable and confident in having these kinds of discussions with patients and their families. And like now I'm doing it. I'm doing exactly what I wanted to be able to do. It's such a cool feeling. I don't know, I'm sure it'll wear off, but like right now as a fresh new resident, like it just feels really good. Definitely one of those moments where you realize you've actually come a long way. So another one of the questions that a lot of you guys have been asking me in my last couple of vlogs is what happened to anesthesia? I thought you were going to UC San Diego. I am still going to San Diego. It's just that I'm going next year because I'm doing a transitional year here in Vegas first. There are a handful of specialties that have programs where they allow you to go and do your intern year somewhere else. And those are called advanced programs versus categorical programs where you do your intern year at the same facility that you're doing the rest of your training at. Those specialties include anesthesiology, radiology, dermatology, PM&R. And where I matched for anesthesia, UC San Diego, they are an advanced program, so I was able to do my first year residency here in my hometown in Las Vegas. I could have chosen to go anywhere else for my intern year. I could have gone to California, I could have gone anywhere. But for me, it made the most sense to spend my first year of residency here in my hometown where I have grown up, I can continue to live at home, I can save up my first year salary because California is going to be expensive, and I can just enjoy this last year with my friends and family before I have to move. So in summary, yes, I am still going to UC San Diego next year and I am very excited for that and to take you guys along with me. Anyway, like I said, my day is done. I have a doctor's appointment later because yes, doctors still have to go and see their doctors. And then I'll go to the gym at some point, relax and just enjoy the rest of my day. Good morning. Today is a special day, and that's because today's my birthday. I remember when I first decided to go to medical school and become a doctor, I thought, wow, my first birthday after I graduate will be when I turn 28. And I remember thinking that that was so far away and that the time would never pass. But here I am in residency, done with medical school. The time just flew by. I guess what I'm trying to say is no matter what you want to do in life, just do it because the time is going to pass no matter what. Anyway, happy birthday to me. So Paul had a really busy day on call yesterday. So we have a long list this morning and we also have surgeries going on. So it's going to be a long day. What's that? What's that? Happy birthday, Pookie. Thanks, Pookie. That's on video. <laughs> that was not performative. That's actually what he calls me every day. Rough day of call yesterday. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. It was actually really bad. Yeah, I was kind of updating the vlog a little bit, but. I don't know that I could truly do it justice. So yeah, we're gonna have a busy morning. Uh, DePaul's gonna update me on all these patients, I guess. Yes, sir. And yeah, let's get started. Our attending wants to meet in 15 minutes. So we're doing speed rounds today. <laughs> speed rounds! You must be flexible as a resident. Strong-willed. 
willing to see 10 patients in 15 minutes. Okay, first case is done. We had an appendectomy this morning. We have another appendectomy going right now for a patient we saw in the emergency room this morning. The pulse is gonna scrub in for that one while I go see two new patients that we got consulted on this morning. Have you guys ever walked by a CD? Not yet. Well, yeah, yeah we've no, walked by some, some of them. That was yeah. like the weirdest out of context I've ever had. Have you guys ever walked by C. Diff? Yeah, C. Diff's not that bad, right? C. Diff isn't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> So we're in the middle of didactics right now and DePaul's on call and they had a perforated colon come in. So DePaul and our attending are going to the OR right now for an emergency colectomy to fix that. However, we also got two more consultations for an appendicitis as well as some sort of wound. Not too sure what that is yet. So I'm going to the emergency room to go see these new patients. So exciting day. Don't mind leaving didactics to go see some new patients. So. Fun times. Normally didactics is protected time, but patients come first, you know? All right, so I helped DePaul and our attending manage some of the new consults since it was a very busy afternoon in the OR. But now these have come down. Hopefully they have a chill rest of their day on call. I, however, am gonna go home and spend the rest of my birthday with my family. You know, when I got to the hospital this morning, I did think to myself like, really? This is how I'm spending my birthday? At the hospital at 4.30 in the morning, spending the whole day rounding, going into cases, going to didactics, having to see more consults and having to bring more patients to surgery. But you know what? Today was still a really good day. I was being a doctor the whole day, which is all I've wanted for years. Getting to do cool stuff like surgery. Like this was a good birthday. This is exactly where I wanted to be in my life on this birthday. Like what would I have done otherwise? Like sit at home all day while all my good friends are at work? No, like this was a good way to spend my birthday. And now I'm gonna go home and have dinner with my mom and brother to celebrate because it's also my brother's birthday and my sister's birthday who's not in town, but we'll still celebrate. I'm just really blessed to be where I am in life. All right, that's enough, let's go home. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, man. Happy Friday. End of the week, baby. Chewy, why are you making a mess all over the floor? Get your brother in check, Chip. So since I am not the resident on call this week, DePaul is, I have a golden weekend this weekend. I'm on call next week, so I don't have a golden weekend. And then I start four weeks of medicine after that. And that rotation is six days a week. So this is effectively my last golden weekend for the next five weeks, which sucks. A little change of scenery today. I know you're talking to your phone. I'm talking to you. Just kidding, I'm talking to my phone. <laughs> oh yeah. Paul got a comment no, on last week's vlog that said he has a teddy bear face. It was a bot. Look at that bot. teddy bear face. Look at you. I'm not going through any fishing scans anymore. <laughs> not again. <laughs> Let's go around, baby. Will you finally tell the viewers what your tattoo means? Yeah, so basically it's a Sanskrit word for the objective of man, or the objective of mankind, and like how like things should hang in the balance and one thing should not displace. One another. I um, see it. Nice. Uh, but I don't know. To keep a long story short, I like I went through a career change from undergrad to like med school. Thought I was gonna do engineering. Kind of struggled in the past with like what I wanted to do, like what I felt my bad purpose was. So I feel like this is a word that kind of encompasses all that. I like that. It's nice. Thank you, bro. The vibes are good this morning. All right, rounds are done. We got some grub per usual. We have no cases today. Which is really nice. Notes are done too, which and means I'm gonna go home. And I'm gonna stick around, but my surgical attending is not covering the ER today, so I might get off easy. Wow, and after yesterday, you deserve it for sure. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Look who it is, Dr. Yeah, Wynn. What up, what up?
<laughs> Teddy bear. We're free. I am done for the day. It's not even 10 o'clock in the morning yet, and I could have left probably a lot earlier, but I've been lollygagging. I had breakfast, and I've just been chit-chatting with my co-residents. I just stopped for some coffee at this place across from the hospital that I've been really liking. Little treat to start the weekend off. So one of the questions I've been getting asked a lot, both in the last couple of vlogs, but also just by my friends as well, is how is residency going compared to medical school? And straight up guys, residency is so much better than medical school. There are several different reasons, but just to start off, you are finally a doctor and you're making money. Both of those things are extremely good for the self-esteem compared to when you're a medical student, you're not making any money, you're taking out loans, you're spending money every single day on cost of living, food, drinks, all that stuff. But in residency, you're actually getting paid to be there and you can finally start building your life, your net worth, start setting goals. And being a doctor compared to being a medical student is also way better. Not gonna lie, being a medical student kinda sucks. Like, you know, it's fun when you start, you're really excited. Third year is really exciting because you're finally seeing patients, but the novelty of everything wears off and eventually you're going to be extremely excited to finally transition from being a medical student to being a resident. And there's just a lot that comes with being a resident that I feel like you don't have when you're a medical student. For example, I feel such a higher sense of responsibility for the patients that are on my service. I felt a responsibility as a medical student, but at the end of the day, I still felt like I wasn't necessarily like a vital member of the care team. The team functioned with or without me. And I'd mainly be focused on the couple of patients that I was following and presenting every day. Versus residency, I am very in tune with every patient on my list, whether I'm the one who's been rounding on them in the mornings and doing their notes or DePaul has. Both of us still know about every single patient on our list and we can tell any other medical provider about that patient just off the dome. And again, you're finally a vital member of the care team, whether it's because you're doing notes, putting the orders in, scrubbing in for the surgeries. You are the resident doctor taking care of that patient. And it is such a better feeling than, again, being a medical student under the resident who is taking care of that patient. Also, as a medical student, you always feel like a visitor. Whether I was on a new rotation or at a new hospital, I always felt like I was in the way. You know, can I sit in this chair? Can I go on this computer? You know, can I eat? Can I bring food here? Can I leave food in the fridge? But as a resident, I feel like my hospital is my home base. I have a whole resident lounge that I am welcome in at any time of the day where I can get work done or kick my feet up and relax, take a nap and just hang out with my co-residents. So it's like, I don't mind staying here as long because I feel very comfortable hanging out here versus as a medical student, I couldn't wait to leave the hospital. Like the moment my resident would tell me to go home, I would beeline for the door. But now, for example, like today, I've been done with my work for a while, but I was just lounging around hanging out with my co-residents. It's just a different vibe. You enjoy it so much more. There's more incentive. You feel future oriented about your career because you know where you match to, you know where you're going. And I said this in a previous vlog, but it just feels like my life is finally starting Whereas in medical school, it just felt like it was doing this the whole time and I wasn't actually going anywhere, which obviously I know is not true. Like medical school is a stepping stone, but again, it's just so different. Anyway, wanted to go on that rant because I'm just loving being in residency finally. It's been such a fun time. We have one week of surgery left. And honestly, I think I'm gonna be really sad when I am completely done with the surgery rotation. Anyway, as usual, I really appreciate you guys joining me for another week in residency. Feel free to leave more questions in the comment section below because I really like answering them during these vlogs. Thank you guys so much again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.